Look at this. It's beautiful. Disneyland. It's a sometimes vlog! <laughs> and look at this guy. He is really excited about that song. Welcome back to Disneyland. Look at these people. They're holding hands. They probably love each other. That kid is wearing a shirt that says, Judge me by my size, do you? I hope nobody but judges him by his size because he's very small. What if people are judging him though and thinking because he's small, he must be powerful? That's a good way to judge someone by their size, kind of. It's We're reverse still sizes. Reverse it is sizes. Yeah. Here we have Carrie. She went to this prom one time. Crazy story. Look at that. The castle, Disneyland. Such a small roped off area. It was a very small rope. The world's smallest VIP section. <laughs> Well, because we look at Disneyland all the time, That's true. Tyler Evans brought up the point that maybe we should go look at DCA. How about this? It's Thursday. Dapper's California. Tyler Adventure. Evans is never around on a weekday. Normally, That's don't true. you work at a normal people job? I have a normal people job most of the time. Why aren't you at your normal people job now? My car is in the shop. Oh. So. I kind of couldn't oh, go to work without my car. That's why you wanted me to give you a ride. Too bad I didn't, and you walked all the way here from wherever you live. Yep. That's how much I care. Yeah, we didn't even really talk about it. It's, just, it's great that it worked out that way. I picked him up yeah. in my car that has air conditioning. It was blasting I, uh, too. I was freezing. I'm pretty. Uh, speaking of freezing, uh -oh. there's something really interesting at Disney California Adventure. What is it, Justin? That we should go take a look at. We've looked at it before, but I, you weren't here. We took a look at Disney California Adventure's Frozen Fun section. I've never seen it's Frozen. It's what? Is it fun? Well, oh wait, I think I knew that already from the quest for the hat. See, when I do that, oh, yeah. I'm trying to switch sides. Nice. And everyone always tries to stay behind me like, no, it's okay, we're just switching sides. That's cool. We're switching teams. Uh-oh. You're on someone else's team. You're on this oh, gentleman's boy. team. I hope He's so. He's on your team the hat with team. the hat and the suspenders. You guys were matching hats. Yeah. The people behind the Hatter is gonna hat. Hatter's oh, gonna... That's the name of our team. Okay, so the Frozen Fun Area at DCA, all devoted to the movie Frozen. Yep. It's a lot of fun. It's a quasi-temporary exhibit of frozen goodness, as Adam would probably say. You've never checked it out. Oh, look at this. Just let's enjoy this scenery for a minute. First of all, I don't know if you can see, there's Cinderella over here. But there's the train. What is that, Fred Gurley or E.P. Ripley? I can't tell. Uh, it's uh, not E.P. Ripley, it's Fred it's Gurley. It's Fred Gurley coming in to Main Street Station from its trip around the Magic Kingdom. Dude, Cinderella's looking great for her age. Right? I, that's why I love time. So now we're going to go see Zachary. Hi. We're going to go see What's Frozen. Up, Fun. Tyler's never seen the movie Frozen. He has no idea what Arendelle is. Or what is that? Or anything. So I mean, I've seen Disney movies, so I'm assuming there's a princess involved. Oh, there's a princess. A lovable oaf. Um, there's a lovable oaf-ish. Cool. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into DCA, Disney California Adventure, California from Adventure. Disneyland. <laughs> Tyler Evans. That's me. And I are That's going you. to peruse the Frozen section. Mm -hmm. We're gonna send you off to look at some of the Frozen paraphernalia. And then because you haven't seen the movie, and most of us have, yeah. we're going to have you look at all the context clues from DCA's vision of Frozen and come back and tell us the story of the movie. See how close you can get. I think that that's sound a like a good challenge? I think I'm literally the only person who never saw it. Too. You are a writer. I am. You're very creative. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Get out of town. You can <laughs> do stuff that's creative, that's probably. True. So we're going to see what you come up with, Tyler Evans' version a Frozen, which okay. is definitely going uh, to be... We go in separate ways? No, that's the switch thing. Oh yeah, that's When my I switch bad. hands, I switch sides. That's my bad. So, you have my pass in your hand, right? I do, yes, okay. Yeah. So, we're going to go inside. We need a short line here. It's kind of a long line. And see what your version of the movie is, which I'm sure it's probably not too late for them to use your version of the movie as the basis for a sequel. Yeah, definitely I could write the so this So this, so try your hardest, because this could really go, this could be this big. This could make my career? Yeah, this could make your career. This could be big for all of us, especially Getting somehow. Out of this damn. And I don't know how, probably it's going to be big for Jeff Heimbach. Yeah, definitely he will, it'll be big for him. <gasps> this is my favorite. It's John. It's really hot. The today. Gentle Giant, pretty sure his name is John. In this, the Disney area. What's hot? The sun? 
I mean that literally. That's what's hot about today. Oh, you're saying when the sun is shining down on us, it is very hot. Particularly Here's John. Today. John is pretty much a giant. He is the tallest gatekeeper that I know of. Usually he's over at Disneyland. I love coming through John's gate. He's a very friendly guy. Look at his face. One of my favorite cast this? member faces. Let me see that pass real quick. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at these people. They're so happy to go into DCA. Do you like DCA or Disneyland better? Me? No, them. But you, well, you too. Disneyland. Okay, me too. There's more nostalgia associated with Disneyland. Walt walked around in Disneyland. Oh, John, here you go. Have a great day, guys. I'm in disguise. John has signed, scanned, he has scanned the dealie and he the wampus. He noticed your hair color was different. He did notice my hair color was different because of the picture that pops up from the past. You don't have to ruin the magic. All bleached hair. Oh, look at it. Let's give everyone a look-see. I do like this a lot, man. Buena Vista Street. Buena Vista Street is awesome. I like that car. Buena Vista Street looked really good on Dapper Day, too, with all the Dapper people. Yeah. We sort of poked fun at added a little the in the Dapper Day video in the Dapper Day Random Land. Wait, because we didn't really poke fun at it. We it was just a little wink and a nod. A little wink and a nod that we're not as big a fans of DCA yeah. as Disneyland. Mm -hmm. But it actually, when you were over here, it actually did look pretty dapper. It was great. Because it fit in right in. The characters are dapper. Everyone's dapper. Plus that Hollywood area is very gorgeous. That's true. It looks like um, Hollywood. No, it doesn't. No, not really. You've if, been to Hollywood if, in the last were, 50 years. If there were way more homeless, nude, angry, cantankerous people, it would look a Hollywood's lot like way Hollywood. more stabby these days. Hollywood is pretty stabby. It's Have pretty stabby, that? yeah. That's why the DCA version of Hollywood is almost literally more worth visiting mm -hmm. than the real Hollywood Boulevard. I took a friend to Hollywood recently. And I was like, hey, what would you think of your first trip to Hollywood? She's like, I don't know. It was pretty dirty. Why was it so dirty? Is that how she talked? Yeah, that's how she talked. Remember, I'm from the South. That's true. And I was like, yeah, that's Hollywood in a nutshell. Oh, chill. look at this. We're getting so close. We're getting so close to the so frozen fun. So is it done or is it like a year-long process to make what? the frozen fun? This part, to change it over. Oh, no, it's done. This, this frozen fun has already been fun. They've themed it out. How long is frozen fun supposed to be here for, Michael? Uh, till May 15th. Until May 15th, so not too much longer. Michael's right, from Pleasanton. Uh, Wait, what's that? And Elsa should still be here for a while. Well, I hope so. And the Crown Jewel Theater will probably be here for a while, but, uh, the, but the whole the snow and that Okay, area. so the snow is going to melt. At night, the Frozen Fun night show will be gone. Mad Tea Mad Party, party, party Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. thank you, Michael. Yeah, I love Pleasanton. That's a good town. I really do. Uh, Tyler. Yeah. He said things. What did he say? He says it's gonna be here till May 15th. All right, so it's gonna be here till May 15th. It's no longer the as fun. is frozen fun. Well, because they turned. The, okay, well, we'll talk about this in a second. It's no longer First a of all, I wanted to see. Well, they had the Mad Tea Party. Okay, fine. We'll talk about it now. They had the Mad Tea Party, which was kind of a weird Disney-fied rave. Yeah. I was never a big fan of it. I'm not much of a dancer. I can't dance. Uh, you can nah, dance. Nah, nah, nah. I could dance if I wanted to, but I gotta leave my friends behind. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> no, I was just not big on the type of music and that stuff, or the Mad Tea Party. I just wasn't a fan of it. I'm not saying it was bad. I just wasn't a fan of it. It was Fair. never particularly my favorite thing. Yeah. I like things like Adventureland that are much more atmospheric, without the pop music playing. Or drunk people. Or the drunk people. Well, they, I don't think anyone was really too drunk, but sometimes there was a lot of drinking going on and stuff. Mad Tea Party. Well, when they changed it to Frozen Fun, they kept basically they painted the Mad Tea Party white and kept sort of the same thing going on. Doesn't actually have that much to do with the movie Frozen, mm. but I probably shouldn't have just told you that because we want to see what you think. Also, I apologize for the wind. I can't control it as I no longer have my weather controlling powers. Oh, they've yeah, been yeah. stripped from me. The well, gods have been angered by all the celebrating. I'm gonna venture in. All right, we're gonna send Tyler where are we Evans. Gonna meet up? Uh, well, the we'll over meet. There? No, we'll meet. I'll meet you in the frozen, the frozen area. Look for. Isn't this ask all where, the frozen? Well, area? ask. Go this way first. Straight through. Straight through, and then turn left. Okay. And ask where Olaf is, and go see. Go look at Olaf. Okay. I'll meet you in there. Meet me at Olaf. Tyler Evans, rock journalist. Now over here, on the other side of the street in the big animation building here where they have turtle talk with crush and all that stuff. They have a meet and greet for Anna and Elsa, which has replaced that weird zoetrope 
for Woody and uh, for the, the Toy Story the zoetrope looking thing. Is that my game? Did I get that right? That's what happens when I need to reset my mouth because it's gone a mile a minute for way too long. I still have the bruised ribs, which makes my breath shallow because the swelling is on the inside of your ribs and up against your lung. It kind of makes my breath feel like it's shallow. And I feel like I can't catch my breath. Anyway, inside the Disney Animation Building, replacing that little segment that used to show Toy Story stuff and that little animated wonky is a character close-up with Anna and Elsa from Frozen. So there's a big line to go see them. We're definitely gonna go meet and greet them on sometimes vlog, just not today, because there's a long, long line, and I wanna see what's up with Tyler. That guy, huge fan of Frozen. Probably the world's biggest fan of Frozen. Look it, she's a fan. She has a shirt on and everything. She's ready to go. Hi, Everybody Justin. Good. Hey, how's it going, Jake? I've never met you before. Where are the Neverland watch, Pirates? I watch your videos. That's awesome. See, so, yeah, I have the advantage on Jake because he has a name tag. Yeah. Well, you knew my name too, though. There was no advantage. We're even. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know your name. From I the can't internet. see Anna and Elsa because it's too long of a line. I was just telling them about Frozen things. Yeah, lots of fun Frozen stuff to do in there. Meet Anna and Elsa. What else? Um, you can learn to draw a snowman. Do you want to draw a snowman? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. What else? Um, that's it for in there. That's it for in there, and all the rest is over here, yeah. where I just sent my friend Tyler. He's never seen Frozen, so what I told him to do was go look at all that, yeah. put it together in his head, and then tell us what he thinks Frozen is about. We have to. I'm not, not hundred percent sure he's going to put together the movie accurately. Yeah. But I don't we'll know. find out. It's kind of hard. We'll find yeah. out. Thank you, Jake. So now let's go find Tyler. Hopefully we don't get run over by this huge red trolley. Although it might be kind of fun to get run over by a trolley. I don't know. I've never tried it. I hold really still here. No, I'm just kidding. See, she is working hard, carrying all that stuff. And the gentleman and the boy scout in me wants to say, ah, let me help you carry that, but I'm not allowed to. There are many legal reasons why one such as me who is a guest at a theme park is not allowed to help the workers carry the things. But it just feels wrong. Doesn't it feel wrong to walk by somebody carrying a heavy load, particularly a female if you're a male? I grant you that that's slightly sexist. Perhaps a certain super touchy PC person would think, but it's not, it's just the way you were raised, you know? You're just supposed to let people go by with a heavy burden without trying to help, but you can't help with this situation. Okay, I'm totally rambling now. Look at this. Here's the theater that replaced Muppet Vision 3D. Even though there's still some Muppet paraphernalia laying around if you know where to look. First time in forever, Frozen Sing Along. That's pretty good. It's almost like those Disney Sing Along videos, but you can sing along a Frozen song. And over here, as we've seen before, Olaf's Snowfest. Oh, here's Tyler. So let's kind of spy on Tyler for a second. He doesn't know we're here. Oh, look at the queen. We have the princess. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about us. We're just observing. Did you go inside and see Olaf? There's an hour wait to have. No, 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 no. You can still walk inside. Come on, come on. Come with me. Don't put the entire picture together yet. We're going inside. See, we sort of went from Hollywood appreciating Frozen out here. And then we're going, oh, don't forget about this. Oh, no, I already noticed Okay, that. okay. What was I going to say? Oh, we're sort of in Hollywood slash Monstropolis looking at Hollywood, which produced Frozen. That's the line to start meeting Olaf. But to just look at Olaf, you could just walk right in these doors. And now we're in Arendelle. Are you excited? I would be if I understood the context. Okay, well here we go. Go into Arendelle. Enjoy. You're now in the world of Frozen. Oh, okay. Experiencing the movie oh. through the lens of DCA. Oh. Now it looks really crazy in here. The blue lights show up very, very blue. Much more blue on the camera than they do in real life. Oh. See, he's never seen Frozen, Jules. Oh. So I'm sending in him, him in here to look at all the context clues try to put together what he thinks the movie is in his head, and then we're going to find out what he thinks Frozen is. Right. I'm pretty excited. Right. Have you seen Frozen? I have. I have a five-year-old niece, so I've seen okay. it a number of times. Is it a good, so is it a good or bad thing that you have to stand inside of the movie all day? 
You know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's a good thing. I'm not inside the sing along, so. Okay, yeah. See, if you're thing. inside the sing along, you'd probably it would probably ruin the movie for you. It probably would. Be or the movie way. would ruin work. Or if you were the world's biggest Frozen fan, maybe both would be amazing. Mm -hmm. It's true. I'm just glad I don't work inside a small world. Yeah, that would be rough. Because I like that song, but only in small doses. See what I did there? Small doses. Okay, I don't know where Tyler went. But just in case you missed all the other vlogs where we've showed this, here it is. Arendelle. Beautiful. The beautiful kingdom. Looking very kingdomly. Olaf. Look at these. Olaf apple. Olaf marshmallow wand. Olaf shirts. This is a Olaf backpack. They also have the Olaf hat. I'm trying to find the Olaf. Oh, here's the Olaf hat. Now, I'm not going to put this Oh, let's see. It's really more for a child. I have too big of a head for an Olaf hat. Oh, no, there we go. The Olaf hat. Oh, here's our good friend Tyler. So, Tyler. Uh, so, Tyler. What did you think of the movie Frozen? Well, can we, can we go outside? I'll give you my synopsis. Okay, we're going to go outside. Did you see Olaf back there? No, I didn't get to see him. Oh, come on, come on. come on. Come on, come with me. Oh, they did literally block it all off. Closing in five hey Jason, can we squeeze up here just so I can look at Olaf from the side and then you can back? Thank you. We can try. What's that from? That reminds me of um, every movie ever. Where you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this. You will try. Do Star do not, Wars. There is no, try. no, it's Star Wars with the. There we go. There's Olaf right there. Ding, ding. Wow. See him? Do you look? See how handsome he is? Yeah. Have you ever seen a more handsome snowman than that? No. no. See? No. Straight up answer. I thought he was going to say yes at first. The way, the way he was like, <laughs> no. Uh, obvi. Obvi. There is no. I no, hate obvi so much. I love it, dude. <laughs> totes. I was okay with totes, but obvi is, obvi is harder for me to I swallow. I every day. Now. I'll get there. I'll get there. Thank you, Jason. He let us kind of break through. I just want to look at Olaf. See, Olaf's back there. Yeah. Sort of running the show here in the village or the courtyard of the castle. There is no Arendelle Castle here. All right, Tyler Evans, he's putting it together in his mind. Let's walk out this way. Wait, first of all, let's take his picture. We're in Arendelle. Pose. Give me your best frozen pose because you know what that means. Someone take a screenshot of that. Best friends enjoying Frozen, our favorite movie that you've never seen. Did you guys watch Frozen? Yeah. Of course they did, because they're humans. They have two eyes, two ears, and a heart. Yep. Tyler has none of those things. Oh, well, the eyes, well. I guess. Well, well, see, if you were wearing your sunglasses, I would have said, we don't know. Ah! Monorail! Monorail! Okay. That was a monorail. Don't worry about it. I just felt like screaming because I'm really excited about monorail. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where's the best place for the reveal for Tyler Evans, rock journalist, Create, create, master of creativity, a huge fan of cinema it's true. and movies and screaming children. It's my favorite. We need a good, okay. right here against this blue wall, right here against the blue screen. Now, if any of you have the technology to put in scenes, to take this clip of the video and put in scenes from Frozen or whatever Tyler's about to describe to us behind us via blue screen. Please feel free to do so. If you want to send me that video, I'll even repost it to this channel or put it on your yeah. channel. I will link it because this is probably going to be the best thing ever. I'm ready for an epic tale, so this better not be 30 seconds. Do you need any preparation time? Well, I'm just going to try from what I saw in there. And, and out here, don't and forget, this here. is part of it. Frozen fun. Okay. Just remember, it's Queen... Elsa and Princess Anna. I always, I always, I always almost kicked that. Queen. Well, the the blue one. I shouldn't even be telling you this. Okay, here we okay. go. Here we go. Frozen. How does the movie start? Here we go. Tyler How does Evans. it start? Yeah, Tyler Evans. Okay, and now, hold on. And now we present Tyler Evans, rock journalist, telling us the story. No, wait, 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 wait. I got a better version. Hold on. See, sometimes you got to go with the second draft. And now presenting Disney's Frozen. As told by Tyler Evans, rock journalist, who's a little shorter than that. Okay, so we open on like a super snowy Ireland. 
and like everyone's having fun and there's like music and there's dancing and there's what have you and there's this guy who's like the coolest guy in snow orland and his name is olaf so he's just like personified snowman character and he's just hanging out in a what'd you call it? arendale you know snow orland he's just like hanging out he's, he's got the rule of the roost he's just getting into shenanigans Aaron He's, he's getting into shenanigans, he's dating chicks, he's going to rock concerts. And then, so like these two girls are hanging out in Snowerland. They're like 10 years old. Okay. And they're sisters, I guess. I don't really know. I'm assuming they're Anna and Elsa. It's the two girls that you see everywhere. And they've got like a pet moose or whatever. So they come across... Um, What's the pet moose's name? Oh, I didn't see his name. Yeah, well, you're telling us the story as told by Tyler Evans. Oh. Feel free to be creative here. Fill in the gaps. Well, so his name's like probably something cute and Christmas related like Garland or like Mistlefoot. Um, Let's go with Mistlefoot. So, he's like, so they have Mistlefoot the moose. Yeah, so they're like hanging out and they're like, man, like we're, I'm from the wrong side of the tracks, but like you're probably royalty. So like, let's be best friends forever as you do in these kind of movies. And it's like, I don't have anything in the world except for Mistlefoot, you know. But we can share Which him. one has Mistlefoot? Well, Mistlefoot's the one who's not the queen, so I guess Anna. So you're like, you know, Mistlefoot's all I have in this world, but like I'm going to share because, you know, even though I'm poor, like I understand what it means to have things more than you do. And then, so I'm guessing at some point that the queen, uh, she steals uh, Mistlefoot so from... Queen Elsa steals yeah. Mistlefoot <laughs> from Anna. And then they grow up. Uh, by the way, just so everyone here can pause, this is what's happening. The sing-along has let out. I want your YouTube video. That's awesome. I'm watching your face. Hi. Hi. The sing-along <laughs> let out. So now there's all these people being very loud during our Tyler Evans story. I just wanted you to see. You can edit this part out if you're doing the blue screen thing, which I really hope, honestly, literally, if someone has the technology, please do that. Okay. So we left off. When we left off, Princess Anna's faithful pet moose Mistlefoot have been stolen by yeah. Queen Elsa because even though they were sisters or something Elsa yeah. was really rich and Anna is poor and doesn't understand what it's like to have things but she but she likes, has a better understanding. But she likes things more because... No, she has a better understanding of what it means. Okay. She has a little. Philosophy. But okay. it feels like she has a lot. Uh, uh, she ha used to have a little, now she has a lot? Yeah, it doesn't matter. No she matter where she... she came okay, from. okay. Yeah. So just making sure we're on the same so, page. So, yeah. Back. All right. Anna's quieting down. So here we go. Young and, and we resume the story now. Yeah, so Anna's like young J-Lo, I guess. And then Elsa's like current J-Lo. All right? We're just... Just for Lanny out. Okay, so then uh, Elsa, she steals Mistlefoot because she's like, she's never wanted for anything. And even though this is like the one thing she was told she could have through sharing, she's like, well, I just want it for myself. And it puts a break in their friendship, right? So then Elsa grows up and she's like, I'm going to be queen of Snow Orland. And, uh, and then Anna's got nobody or nothing, you know? So she buddies up with the town cool guy, Olaf, who I assume has maybe fallen on hard times because probably the country did because Elsa's not doing that job of queening. So the Wait, whole... why isn't she queening? I got lost there. Well, she became queen later because she grew up. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're saying when, when they're still young. Well, they grow up. Okay. But they're, they're no longer friends because oh, okay. of Mistlefoot, right? So then eventually, uh, Anna teams up with Olaf to get Mistlefoot back. Uh-huh. So... She goes, she storms the castle, they have this big fight, but then they realize that the true riches in the world is actually the friendship between two children. So then... But I thought they had already grown up. Well, no, but they realized that the, that was when they had, uh, when they were kids, that was the true riches, is the innocence of their friendship back then. So then Anna and Elsa... Honestly, surprisingly accurate. Anna and Elsa decide that they're going to run the country together and Olaf is going to be there too and Mistlefoot gets reunited and everything's good to go credits and then that song that everyone seems to like the, the let it go song or that love is an open door I think I think let it go which I mean if we're being honest what about after the credits what do we got after the credits oh is there well I'm guessing it's probably Olaf sledding on his butt something like that 
frozen as told by Tyler Evans with the context clue rock journalist to Justin Scard through the sometimes vlog that was pretty much no that was pretty, I haven't seen it it was just walking around the park so that was, that was pretty much the movie you know the best part about that is there's a there's a guy in the movie with the reindeer not a moose <laughs> this guy here oh and you totally skipped him but th honestly other than this balloon i haven't seen hide nor hair of either him or the prince in the movie oh yeah so there are actually two dudes in the movie at least two and then there's an evil like i think it's certainly up. over here i bet there's a prince yeah, so there's there's some guys in the movie too, well, but you, you can throw them you in more there. or less nailed it. Honestly, was that, was that the plot? Pretty much. It was. Pr you were pretty close. The Ireland, frozen, Frozerland, frozen Ireland, Snowerland, and Mistlefoot being stolen, and the um, the sisters maybe who were friends and then they weren't friends, and one of the sisters was poor, and um, the part with the IRA was really good. Yeah. With the machine guns, that right. was pretty accurate. I like that. So I didn't get it at all, did I? You got there were some parts that you got pretty close. That's good. Now I, I'm really excited to see what somebody does with that, with you staying in the book in front of the blue background. Actually, Animating I'm actually too. was just thinking about that the entire time, yeah. thinking of all these things that people could do with that. That should be a whole separate. Honestly, yeah. depending on how good that comes out, that yeah. should maybe be on the Live Fast Life Four channel because that's going to be so epic. I'm in. I just want the $10,000. Well, you're already in. Now it's their video. It's the universe's video now. That's true. So please feel free to download this sometimes vlog, cut that out, mm -hmm. and create Tyler Evans' version. If somebody animated that, I'd be impressed. I don't know that anyone has that kind of power. Somebody might. I don't know that anyone has the skill or the power to animate such an epic tale. Sorry I didn't get to weave in the dudes. I'm guessing one was somebody's brother who is a love interest and then stuff. So, so there's two sisters, and you're guessing that one of the dudes was one of the sisters' brother, who was maybe a love interest of the other sister. I thought we decided that they're friends, not sisters. No, you you left that ambiguous. You see. Well, I think they're they're friends, friends that might be sisters. I think. But is the what princess has a brother who's a prince, Abdi, and then the one who's not rich falls in love, but their love cannot be. Or the princes could fall in love with each other. They're from two. You're two forgetting different that. Worlds. You're forgetting that. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true. That could happen. It doesn't. Well, then why are you busting my chops? <laughs> just, just trying to confuse you more than you already are. But their love can't be because they're from the wrong side of the tracks, and that matters to people. Does it? In movies. In movies? In, yeah, I'm pretty... In 80s movies. I mean, we've always been poor, so it's hard. Who? To gauge you and I. Oh, I thought you meant all of them, too. No, we have, I don't know. Some of them might be rich. Oh, if any of you are rich... Give us money. Yeah. It's me who said it, so you don't have to blame him. Well, no, I'll straight up, you know, I'll tell you, if you have extra money, I would like some. <laughs> but if we were, like, rich dudes, We don't know anybody that's rich. If we rich. had, like, billions... Oh, if we were rich? And there was some girl, there was, like, a Molly To Green be honest Wall. with you, if I were rich, I would spend it on what I need and then probably spend the rest on other people. Uh, that sounds I good don't know that I would stay rich. But, like, if you're... If we're super well, there would be a DeLorean time machine involved well, yeah. and some I'm epic saying, adventures that would stick, all go to random land. Here. Okay, sorry. We're super wealthy. We are?! Uh, yeah. And when then, did this happen? Just for the sake of oh, the story. Oh, for the, okay. And then we come across a girl, a Molly Ringwald type, who's like, I had to make my own prom dress. Wait, 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 Molly Ringwald then or Molly Ringwald now? No, pretty in pink, Molly Ringwald. Uh, Breakfast Club Molly Ringwald. Okay. But she was like, yeah. she's like, I had to make my own dress out of materials that were pretty in your dress before I got my hands on it. Right. But I want to date you. And you're like, To oh. me. Yeah, and you have billions, but you're like, I can't date you because you're from a lower socioeconomic place than I am. I would date the heck. Exactly. That's only something that happens in Out movies. of which Molly Ringwald? Uh, Breakfast, Breakfast Club, Club Molly Ringwald. No, you know what? I don't know. She was kind of stuck up, but actually. It's like, well, that's a bad example. I'm saying she looks like Breakfast Club Molly Ringwald, mm -hmm. but she's the character of uh, Andy from Pretty in Pink. I don't know. Andy was pretty stuck up another way. I guess that's You true. had a whole Pride and Prejudice thing going on there with a duck man. But if what's his name? Robert California? Mm -hmm was like James Spader if he was like hey man I wear suit jackets when it's not appropriate because we're in high school and you shouldn't date that girl because her dad doesn't make a lot of money I'd be like what are you talking about man she's gorgeous you don't true date her. true but you know who was better looking than Andy was the was, girl the friend yeah the friend yeah. Iona or whatever yeah. her name was she's beautiful what was, what's her name Annie Potts I think is yeah. her real life name she was supposedly like 20 years older than them no way. But no way. No she way. was. She was a. If she was, 
She was good with the makeup. Yeah. She looked gorgeous. amazing in that movie. Why didn't Ducky want to be with her for? Real? I don't know. They right because there's that scene where she gets him in the bar, mm -hmm. and I thought there's a significant so there's a significant hypothetical age difference of what like 25 years I or would, something that they no. imply. They should have still dated. Yeah, dude. Ducky had to be 18 at least. Once he he's can, 18, he would have been cool. Like, he's probably 17 in that movie. He can do a mean Otis Redding impression too. That's like, true. Yeah. Ducky's if you the can real do hero a mean, that movie. He really is. Yeah. That movie's about Ducky. It's the Ducky story. We really don't even need anybody else, especially Blaine. So Could have just watched Ducky dancing and lip syncing all mm -hmm. the entire movie. Yeah, James Spader looking like a Miami Vice extra. Which is what everybody looked like in the 80s, That's Tyler. True. You don't really remember because you were born in 89. Yep. I was only a few years ahead of you. But I did see some of the 80s. It's weird to reveal that I think everyone thinks I'm older than you. Well, you are. In spirit. Yeah. Just I'm the little boy who is never going to grow kids. up. And You've been an Mertz. old man since you were three years old? Yeah, I'm Staller and Waldorf. And Fred Mertz. Yeah. That's true. So there you have it. Tyler Evans, rock journalist, brought you the story of Frozen. Those of you who haven't seen Frozen, you no longer need to. Tyler just saved you like 20-something dollars for a Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yep. That is how you watch Frozen. By watching you? Yep. Talking about uh, Watching about? me talk about what Frozen was probably like. I can't remember what else we were going to start talking about. Then we started talking about Pretty in Pink. Frozen? Frozen? That's a matchup. I this is the greatest sometimes vlog. Pretty in snow. Ever. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe someday we'll turn the tables and you can make me retell a movie I've never seen. There's oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. But that was one. That was one for the, the books. I don't I'm know good. which books. Please, somebody do something with that. Subscribe to the Sometimes Vlog for more Tyler Evans every once in a while. He's on here sometimes. Yeah. Whoa! Another monorail. There's all kinds of activities and stuff going on this weekend. I have to get home right now to go be on somebody else's podcast. Tyler is going home to cry. Yeah, more or less. Because he's gonna watch Frozen, and understand how beautiful of a beauty. It is, and then he's gonna cry. If somebody sends it to me on Blu-ray, I'll watch it. Let's be honest, you're probably not going to watch Frozen. You're probably going to watch Pretty in Pink. Now that you talked about it, you're probably going to go on Netflix and watch it, if it's still on Netflix, which if I think it is. Something oh, I was gonna say about, um, uh, I was gonna say She's something about my birthday. Day. My birthday is next week on Wednesday, and people keep asking me if they can send me a present. Here's the thing about sending me a present. I feel very humbled and grateful for the fact that you want to send me a present. I live in one room. There is no room for more things, and I don't really need any things, so please, rather than doing that, on my Twitter, at Justin Scott, and I'll repost the charity. There's a great charity that deals with depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and people who are considering suicide. Just make a donation to that charity instead of buying me a thing, a which I don't need, because I'll probably end up giving it to Tyler. He doesn't need any more yeah. stuff either, probably. He probably needs some stuff, but probably not stuff that has my name on it. Right. Where, where's Fast Night 4? Yeah, hey, what's up, man? How's it going, man? Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. Right, so I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Okay, don't move, don't move. Uh, well, I mean, you could move and breathe if you want. I don't know what he was doing. He was, like, dance punching or something. Okay, he's just, so... He's so I'm gonna post that right now. I wish I could remember the name of it. I'm gonna post it in the description too. So make a donation over there. If you have to send something, then I've got a really good idea. Send me a letter with a joke to our PO box, which is 5753G, Santa Ana Canyon Road, box number 247, Anaheim, California, 92807. Yep. Send me a note. I'll, maybe I'll read it on the vlog. Maybe. maybe of jokes for Tyler. I want you to write little one-liner, two-liner jokes, and we'll see if we can make Tyler laugh with your jokes. That's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in for that. That would be a good present for me. If, you're, if you want to send me jugs of gasoline, which I always need gasoline, or well-concealed piles of cash, I won't turn them down, but honestly, I don't really need any more things, although I really appreciate all the little presents everybody sends me. I'm running out of space to keep them, and it would be a lot better, I think, for the world. I think so, too. If we just donated to charity instead of I agree. If my birthday of, comes around, I'll suggest the same thing. Yeah. Not the same charity, but the same thing. The same thing. Yeah. Or you could donate to any charity of your choice. Really, honestly, that would be better than buying me things. Yeah. Because I don't need any things. I've got friendship. And I've got you guys. And I've got... Gout? Six dollars. Oh, hold on. It's so, a fortune. I'm just trying to see what else I got. I think I got... 
got socks got on. Paper. I got socks on. Yeah, and, that's true. And now, yeah. More importantly, oh, I have three quarters of a tank of gas. So that's pretty good. I have bag of a half a bag of Skittles in the car, and now I have the story of Frozen, as told by Tyler Evans, living in my heart. And maybe one of you will give me the ultimate birthday present by doing something with that video footage. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> That's the greatest. I want that. Yeah, but, all right, we're totally off subject now. The real subject is goodbye. I love you guys. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Tyler. To all my friends, Tyler. Frozen. T Y L E R something. E V A N S. Bye. <laughs>